course. How's uh, everything doing? Everything good, man. All right, man. We here chilling. We live direct on Dev Entertainment TV. We broadcasting everything live. It ain't no front and no stunt going on. Everything right here, straight to the point. I'm with that. I'm here with my boy Candy, man. Some speculations been going on the internet, basically, about this new video that been broadcasted. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of things about, you know, exposure about Jay-Z and Jeezy doing songs and, and a little bit of a similarity in the rhymes. Okay. Let me get a little bit of feedback on that, homeboy. Um, well, with the situation with that, you know, I got a DJ I'm affiliated with named Jay Bugs. He's about to drop a mixtape, whatever the case may be. And he put it upon himself to, um throw that video out there, you know. I never gave him permission, but that's just what he did, you know. And that causes all this commotion and situations and my phone ringing and all this crazy shit. But at the end of the day, it's all good, man. It's mm. all good. How you, think this, how you think this actually affects the outcome, you know, basically the situation at hand? Cause, you know, there's a lot of negativity being said, a lot of back and forth. And, you know, we don't need none of that. We could just sell it right now, straight to the point. What's okay. going on? Well, I was on World Star last night. I checked it out. I see what it is. Um, first and foremost, I got no beef for Young Jeezy, and I got no beef with Jay. You know, Jay is like what billionaire or something like that. Why would I have beef with a billionaire, a, a guy who's capable of signing me? It don't even really make no sense. And Jeezy a trap star, he doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with him. Jeezy do him, I do me, and that's the end of that, you know what I'm saying? Right now, now as we speak, are you signed to a label right now? Nah, you know, I spoke to a couple labels and, 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 and shit like that, but, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. And, um, the whole thing about my record sounding like some of Jeezy records, personally, I feel rappers inspire each other you know you might hear a record and you be in the booth you writing and you might write a line that's similar it just so happened that some of the records i had out on hot 97 last year you know um mr c could confirm that k slick confirmed that they basically played the records of the snippets that's on world star they played that last year so for the people and the guys who, who the, the haters on the internet that's leaving a comment stating, I heard Jeezy music and J music and made the records after that. That's bullshit, because all you gotta do is call Hot 97 DJs, man. They've been playing the record since last set. Feel you on and that. That's how, that's how I, um, that's how you determine if my record was made after those records was made. I got Jeezy album in my whip right now. I bump Jeezy all day. I got all three of his, al his albums. That's what's up. I got J albums. You know what I'm saying? So I love on my end. I don't know what's going on on that side. Now, at the end of the day, if someone put out a DVD or a video and some world star, you know, what can I do about it? Every man is their own man. Right. So J Books put it out there. Yeah, he put me in a little situation, but situation could be cleared up right it's not a problem at the end of the day man you got to hear everything from the horse's mouth so well, I this is exactly. the horse's mouth <laughs> i got no problem with jay i got no problem with jeezy you know i don't know if son got a problem with me but i ain't got no problem with son you know what i'm saying i like his music like i said i bump his music all the time you know but you gotta understand like world star you know they give niggas exposure and all that but the problem is, is a lot of these hating ass motherfuckers that be leaving these crazy comments, you know, these internet gangsters, you know. As we speak right now, this video going world star, they right now on the computer typing right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Typing hate mail and all that crazy shit. Even niggas in my hood type shit. I don't really understand that, but you know, niggas probably mad I fucked they bitch or something, you know? <laughs> you know how that shit go. You know so, how the hood is on ready. You, you know, you gotta, you gotta understand, like, you just gotta understand you're gonna always have haters, man. Right. It's a give and take. God, the end of the day, too, as I've been scrolling down the screen, I've been seeing things about past tense feuds involving Beloved and the game and things of that nature. What's the whole feedback on that, bro? Okay, I, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about that Smack DVD. Exactly. All right, um, 
with that whole situation with Smack, that's not my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had beloved sign. Yeah, rest in peace. But at the end of the day, he signed the other contract with Zaw Black Wall Street. You know, and when that happened, he was signed to two contracts. So what I did was I just signed him off. To, to Jimmy Henchman game, Black Wall Street Zone Entertainment, you know, and they did their thing, and that's the whole situation with that, you know. They they do they they, they thing, I do mine, and keep it moving. Cause I remember that was about two years ago. I remember seeing that Smack DVD. I see Homeboy Beloved, you know, he was doing his thing. You know, he had his rhymes going on, but he mentioned 50's name in it. What's what's going on with Homeboy, man, involving that at that particular time? Well, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I feel you, That's man. That was, you know, game, Black Wall Street, you know, Zaw. That was their situation. That was their artist. I had some sound, like I said, and he signed with them. And two contracts, we collide, so I just signed them over, and I kept them moving. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problems with nobody. So you on that? That's the way you stay connected anyway. That's networking, you know. I ain't got no problem with nobody. No beef with Fifty G Unit, Black Wall Street. No beef with Zar. I ain't got no problem with nobody, man. It's all love on this end. So you on that? Now, if a nigga come at me, that's a different story. But like I said, I got no problems with nobody, man. So you gotta be positivity before negativity all day, you know. That's the only way we gonna progress. I'm not gonna sit here and diss niggas and go all crazy with it. You know, to try to blow myself up or get some ex exposure. I don't do it like that. You know what I'm right. saying? What's real is real, and what's bullshit is bullshit. And that's the end of that. You're right, because I seen you at a couple of shows, and a couple of other people told me they seen you at a couple of shows. You was at SOB, yeah. you did a performance out there. Yeah, I did, I did SOBs twice. Hot 97, who's next? You know, big up to all the DJ at Hot 97. They show me a lot of love, you know. Mr. C, of course, Brooklyn. K Slay, Monse, you know, DJ Enough, all the DJs, man, Ebro, the whole Hot 97 staff, man, they show a lot of love, man. At the end of the day, they spin them records, man, so everybody eating, you know what I mean? At the end of the day. Yeah, man. What's going on with Candy, man, and Stack Dollar, though, man? I see, you know, you represent your, your personality, your Candy, man, that's what you do. Put it out there, man, what's Candy, man, about, man? Man. A lot of haters, like I said, gonna mention the whole candy shit. It's sweet and all that good shit. You right, it's sweet for they bitch. You know what I'm saying? And and the whole candy is, you know, when niggas on the street, you get any candy you want. You know how that shit go. For you or not. You know, and the whole the stack dollar movement. We got like four albums done. Speaking a couple labels right now. See what it is. You know, something good come. You know, I'm gonna sign on the dotted line. Keep it moving, blow up. I'm like I'm like Master P of the East Coast, man. I feel you, man. Whether I sign with a major or not, I'm about to drop independent. So at the end of the day, even if I drop independent, I mean I'm gonna get that Master P money, man. You know, I don't know if they expected for me to be here with a, a bunch of goons and all that, but it don't work like that, brother. Yeah, I see we I'm up here, here in the Dolo, studio. Man. We here, we chilling. Yeah, this is my studio. You know, I'm co-owner. Check it out, man. I know y'all know equipment. Yeah, man. Check it out. You see here over here, man. At Devs Incorporated is a corporation. And the way we deal with things, we put everything out there straight. We won't be behind the bush. We won't play no games. We making it short, but we making it straight to the point. Is there any more speculation that you want to end out here? Any gossip or he say, she say, all that bullshit? Anything out here you know you want to put out there on the front? Basically, I want to say this. Like I said, they got a um, video out there on Worldstar stating that, you know, Young Jeezy and Jay-Z exposed. They got a couple snippets of my records, a couple snippets of Jeezy record, you know, I got no problem with Jeezy. Like I said, I bump his music. I like what he doing. You know, the name is album, first, second album, Inspiration. Yeah, he inspired me. So it's all good at the end of the day. Jay, Jay is like, you know, the greatest rapper that ever did it. 
So it's like, why, why would I come at Jay? Right. That's crazy. I would never do something like that.